Привет, everybody, and welcome to day five of our Russian tour 2019. We have been waiting the whole morning for the wind to go down, but finally it looks very fishable. The situation on the camp right now is that we are almost out of food. We have no water to drink, but the water in the lake that we have behind us and people are getting tired, but that doesn't stop us from going out to the lake and going fishing. And as you guys already know from the thumbnail and the title of the video, we are going to challenge ourselves once again here in the Siberian lake. Anton, what's up for the today's schedule? Uh, so today we will grab some uh, really crazy lures from all the guys. The most craziest lures we could find. And uh, hey, we're gonna take, take some pikes with them. So which one are you going to start with of these ones, you think? Uh, frankly speaking, I'm gonna try them all, really. I will also try them all, but I'm going to start off, no matter what, with the hedgehog. I mean, just look at this thing. It's like an actual hedgehog. I have no idea how it moves in the water, but we're very soon gonna find out. Yeah. Hey guys, it's 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 some magic happening over here. Every camp, every time we come to the spot in the beginning of the fishing day and make a first cast, and boom! Every time I have, I have a pike. Check this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. That's a oh, that's a big fish! <laughs> that's a giant, man. Let's, let's try to get it without any net. Yeah, dude! Whoa. All one have been inhaled. On high waves, in a big wind, and muddy water, no matter what, muddy color, it works all the time. The wind is so strong, I can barely stand in the boat. So we're releasing the pike back into the water. Bye bye. Woo! That was a great start. The whole day is in front of us. Let's fish, Mille! Yeah! So that was Anton's first fish that day. It weighed in on 8.6 kilos and I think it was about 105 centimeters. So it's a top fish. Sadly, we sort of accidentally continued to fish with the rubber baits for like half an hour and experienced incredibly good fishing. So I know you're expecting to see us catching a whole bunch of fish on crazy Russian handmade lures, but just stick to the end of the video. We've saved all the good stuff for there, including one of the most epic top water compilations I've ever filmed. So enjoy the rest of the video. Ciao. Okay, first cast on the second spot. Which bait are you going with? I'm going with Nettle, big one. Yes! I'm good, Anton. Oof. I'm gonna try the hedgehog first right now. First cast of nettle. It's like always the first cast, it's sick. Now I'm gonna try the hedgehog. Good. It's a small one, not so big as previous, but it's a pike. Nettle. We fish in muddy waters now because of the wind and the shallows. And for muddy waters, it looks like muddy colors work pretty well. Original gangster. Now we're gonna check how that gangster will make the pike suffer a little. We will check how it is doing towards this little fellow oh. right here. The mouse. Okay, let's go now. Yeah, fishing on, the, on that lake is so damn cool. But the problem is we cannot fish the spots as we want to fish them and we can't use the lures that we want to use because of the weather. That was a long cast and straight into the weeds. You know, the problem is with this wind you cannot see where are weeds and shallows and where are... Oh! Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, man! We're on fire, dude! Oh, baby! Um, that's a not 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 a giant one. That's a pike. Or maybe actually it's it can be pretty big. Have to release the, oh whoa whoa whoa! It's a big one, Mila. It's a big one. Or maybe not so big, but oh whoa whoa! You can see that the pike take line from my reel so easily. Ah, oh, that's actually looks like six seven kilo one or maybe more. Let me try to grab it with the hands. 
Yeah, dude! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh. oh my goodness! Thank God! Thank God! Oh, 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 there she go. <laughs> there you go, my dude. Boom, boom, baby. The gangster of the lake. And now it's my time to go clear blue lemonade. So now the pike won't know what hit him. And I'm gonna change the hook and continue. Okay, let's continue. Believe me, it was first cast for the miller with a hooligan clear blue lemonade. It's a really nice one. Oof, oof. Carefully, 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 carefully. What a nice dance, Mille. Liat. <laughs> oh yeah, Mille learned some Russian. And of course, the first words he learned, they're not so good. Okay, let's make some pictures for Mille. Yeah, it looks like over five kilo. Yeah. But that looks like it's not a top water day. Pike knuckles, baby. We tried some top waters, but no bites, and they bite rubbers. But before that, we want to try like all the crazy lures, actually almost all of them are top water. But hey, how can we fish with top waters when they bite in rubbers? And now we have double! Mili just asked me to grab the camera. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! But I cannot take the camera, Mili, I'm sorry. I had a bite at that moment. What's happening, bro? Like five, five. I'm Rocky. Yeah. This day is the absolute sickest of everyone so far, even though we have zero 10 kilo fish. Here we have twice five kilo fish, or maybe more. And here we have Anton's on original gangster. Oh, if if the start, okay, see now. Oh. Sorry, baby. Oh. I'm so sorry, baby. Believe Somet us, guys. Sometimes the best thing to do when they do like that is like they will do like that. But if it's not a giant, you know, just try to flex with your with their elbow or get them back to the water. That's how they will feel the best. And uh, now we have five fish over five kilo, three around five six kilo, one eight point. I don't remember eight point something. Do you remember? Eight point on eight. nettle. Uh, 8 40 of 60 something I, I really don't yeah, remember I, I don't 8, 8, 60, 8 60 something 8 60 and something. one over nine and one nine point nine point two and then we had a double trouble and then we had a double trouble that was well over 10 kilo in that double but it would be nicer if it wasn't one fish but I think we're gonna do that now it's like one part of me is like Okay, the pike fishing home on Åland will be destroyed and one part is like, okay, let's move, let's pack the bags, we're moving to Siberia. One of the most hectic 30 minutes I've ever experienced. We caught about 10 pike with the heaviest ones weighing in on 8.6 and 9.2 kilos. We tried the hedgehog and all the other baits during the day, but sadly they were all unsuccessful attempts. But then it was time to try one last spot before going back to the base camp. This is how we do it in Russia. I will drop the anchor down. Okay man, I'm gonna try the... Which one should I try, Anton? I'm gonna try the dragon. So this is also flat nose dragon, not really, but it's the second dragon that we have in the boat. So I'm gonna give this small guy a couple of few casts. We actually gave them we gave them a fair try at the middle of the day, but damn, it has been blowing cold winds today. Oh, they won't eat this. I can feel it. Oh, 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 oh! No, 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 no! Oh, Anton! Anton, I have it on the dragon! Anton, get the net! Get the net! Yeah! <laughs> yes! I caught a fish on the dragon. Uh, that's one of my first fish ever on top water, actually. It feels like we're in the middle of December doing top water fishing for a pike. And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
is a pike on a dragon. Man, that, that has to be one of the most epic lures. Let's have a look at that, guys. I'm gonna release this guy first. So, you are so important. And the pike didn't hesitate at all. It took me like two casts here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's beaver time. Ladies and... Ladies and not ladies. So this is the beaver and the mega bass and the lizard that I will be trying to catch a pike on right now. Okay, so now it's spinner versus beaver. I'm gonna try to release as fast so this pike have uh, no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh my god, that's just sick, dude. Even if this happens to be a pike nest, how, how sick is that? Who thought that this beaver was gonna be its dinner today? Well, unlucky this small critter. A fish on the beaver. Ciao, ciao. Okay, Anton, get one on the spinner now. This is like becoming a zoo. First we caught it on the dragon, now we caught it on the beaver. Look at that. It's crazy. Is it a big one? It's going deep, but I thought I think I saw her in the surface though. Ah, it's a decent one, man. Really nice. Jerk spinner works, top water works. Man, to be fair though, what does not work here in Russia? So now we have two, we brought like seven lures or something, and now we have caught fish on two of them. It's a normal small jerk bait and looking like a spinner bait system. That wasn't so shocking though. That's a pretty damn good looking lure like yeah. lure right there. And a good looking three kilo pike. Put her back. Nice work, dude. So one more crazy lure here. But that one goes on the surface. It's like a top water and here are two meters. So I'm gonna use BFT tungsten. I just add it easily to the lure and then it will sink and will go approximately one meter under the surface. I think that would be Nice. Good. Go with that one, Anton. What I see here is a very shallow bay with oh, yeah. lots of grass Look inside. And we saw some pikes moving over there. But you cannot fish fly there. You cannot fish rubbers, jerk baits. It's, it's you literally... cannot even fish with poppers because they're going to oh, get yeah. stuck. Oh, yeah. But look what I have, guys. That's an eggy. One of my... Let's, what the heck? It's, an, it's a half of an egg. It's a, it's a custom-made lure by my friend from Russia, actually, also. And this is a glisten lure that goes like this on the surface. So I bet we can at least try to, to throw it inside and get it out without taking the weeds. So let's do that.
hope that was it for this episode guys. I'm sorry that it took us so long to get to the actual point of the video but I hope you all feel that it was worth it with that epic top water compilation. I want to finish this episode with a couple of words of wisdom and that is that all crises no matter how bad they are have one thing in common and that is that they will pass and we will all soon be out fishing again. But I want you all to stay safe wherever you are and we at Canal Gratis will be back with another spicy video tomorrow. Until next time ladies, ciao!